So what do we do when we're making eye contact with the audience and we're maybe not getting the reaction we were hoping for? Hello, my name is Greg Story. I'm the president of Daokane Training here in Japan and I'm the author of the Amazon bestseller number one, Japan Sales Mastery. And here is Golden Week in Japan, so we're not dressed up in a suit today at the office. We're actually in Minato-ku at the Annex and just want to talk a little bit about reactions on audiences' faces when we're presenting because often we're rather nervous when we're presenting and if we're getting a lot of feedback from the audience visually that doesn't look too positive, it can impact our self-confidence and therefore how successful we are in the presentation. Our objective is to be persuasive. So if we're going to be persuasive, then we have to deal with the fact that we need to make eye contact with the audience, but also deal with the fact that what we're seeing may look like a lot of faces that are quizzical, or not really sure about what we're saying, maybe completely opposed to what we're saying. Here's a couple of things to keep in mind. First of all, we can't actually read what's in the person's mind. I was giving a presentation, it was when I was based in Osaka, there was about 100 salespeople in the room, at that time I was promoting Australia as an education destination. And I remember, distinctly remember, left side, about halfway down, there was one guy, and he had a particularly angry look on his face. He didn't seem to be agreeing with anything I was saying. Now, at the end of that presentation I'd finished, he came up and he came straight down to the front. I thought he was going to going to give it to me, going to punch me in the head. But amazingly to me, he said, it, we, I did the speech in Japanese. He sang in Japanese. That was fantastic. That was the greatest thing I've ever heard. Thank you very much, etc., etc. So I realized, ah, particularly in Japan, a lot of people can have a very serious face because they're listening intently, which can often seem to be rather hostile, rather not so happy face. So we can't judge just by looking at the face on whether they're actually happy or not happy with what we're saying. They may be concentrating very, very hard on what we're saying, but that doesn't help us with the nerves. So when we're seeing people who are looking a bit quizzical or maybe don't look particularly happy, maybe they are concentrating, that'd be good. But don't look at those people. Look for the people who are going like this. Look for the ones who are nodding. Look for the ones who are agreeing with us and use your eye contact to focus on those people. Now I always talk about six seconds of eye contact and you try and work your way around the six pockets in the room, you know, the, the group in front of you, so you've got left side, middle, right side, the group a bit more at the back, left side, middle, right side, like a baseball diamond. Try and do that so you engage in all parts of your audience, but within those pockets, look for people who are nodding and agreeing with you and look at them, because if you're not feeling confident, that will help you to feel more empowered and more confident because you're getting some positive feedback. So let's not misread what we see on people's faces when we're presenting. If we're not feeling confident, then look for the people who are in agreement with us, who look like they're positive to our message, and we will find that's much, much easier to do our presentations in that format. And gradually, as we build our confidence, after a while, we'll find there are people, yes, who will disagree with us. But because we know how to handle Q&A really, really well, we never fear that type of reaction. So regardless whether they're for us or against us, when we have that confidence, we can deal with it. On our way up to that point, let's look for the people who are nodding and who are agreeing with us. Now, if nobody's agreeing with you and they all look hostile, that's where you need to really train in the Q&A. And we know how to teach you that. So if you'd like to learn how to do that, let us know. Anyway, there's some hints on what to do with an audience when you're looking at them from your viewpoint and it may not be looking as positive as you hoped. I hope that helps.